Hi and welcome to this trick video, part two of sketches. Again, the three steps are the same as before, which is nice. With the introduction of compound and double angles to trig sketch questions, however, there is a bit more to look out for. And we will introduce you to all the options in a worked example. As you can see here, for sketch questions including grade 12 trig, we now need to look beyond quad angles and co-ratios to also include considering compound and double angle options. The key being to make sure to always keep the acute angle given in the question as your anchor. So, other than looking for the acute angle or its complement and their families, we must also be on the lookout for angles double the size of the acute angle given, or angles double the size of the complementary angle of the acute angle given, as well as compound angle options, which appear as a combination of the acute angle given and any of the special angles. These can often seem hidden, so being proactive here really helps you to recognize them. Okay, let's dive straight into an example. The question here says, if it is given that sine of 16 equals P, find the following in terms of P. And just a side note here, this question begins with the word if, which often means you need to make a sketch. Then firstly, we take note that the given acute angle is 16 degrees. We've popped in here a reminder of the three action steps to follow, but before you give this question a try, take a moment to look at what possible angles could show up. Let's start with considering the given acute angle of 16 degrees or any of its family across all four quads. Then what about its complement, 74 degrees, or any of its family? The next option to consider is 16's double angle, 32 degrees, and all of its family, and lastly, possible compound angle options connected to 16 degrees. There are several options here. 16 could be combined with 30, 60, or 45 degrees, and could be added to or subtracted from the special angle. Note how close 76 is to 74, and yet if you're not sure to add these layers of thinking, this angle could just be confusing and even seem like a mistake in the question. Now this whole process is quite a bit of effort and you most likely will only ever need to consider a handful of these scenarios, so we certainly don't have to go through this whole process for each and every sketch question. It is however useful to do it a couple of times initially though, to get a feel of all the potential angle options. Getting used to this way of thinking is especially helpful when you land with an angle that initially doesn't seem to have an obvious fit. Also a good rule of thumb is to reduce all angles bigger than acute angles and then see how they fit according to the thinking we've just done. All this really supports the proactive approach and hopefully instills a sense of confidence in knowing that there are options to try. And hopefully this will encourage you to always keep thinking rather than to give up. So here is the question again. Pause the video for a moment now to give yourself a chance to work through it. Okay, so step one is to make a sketch, and this means placing the acute angle, in this case of 16 degrees, in standard position, and then completing the triangle. If it is given that sine of 16 equals P, then you can say it equals the ratio of P over 1, and we can then place this ratio in our sketch as opposite over hypotenuse, or Y over R. And now we can complete the triangle's information using Pythagoras to find the third side in terms of P, the root of 1 squared minus P squared, and by calculating the third angle of the triangle. And in a 90 degree triangle, there are 90 degrees left to share between these two angles, and so the third angle is 90 minus 16, which is 74. Once you've made your sketch, including all the necessary info, and you've set your thinking to be open to looking for all possible angle options, you're all set to tackle the rest of the question. For cos of 16 degrees, you can read directly off the sketch, adjacent over hypotenuse or x over r. This is root 1 minus p squared over 1, which is just root 1 minus p squared. 
Then for sine 196, we first need to reduce this to the ratio of an acute angle. So 196 degrees is a third quad angle, which means sine in the third quad is negative because it's below the x-axis. And our acute angle is 16 degrees, which we can get excited about. And so this reduces to negative sine 16, which is then just negative p. Remember we were given in the question that sine of 16 equals p. Then number 3 is asking us to find tan of 74 degrees. Now we see the purpose of finding the third angle in our sketch. And so we can read this off directly from the sketch. Tan is opposite over adjacent. And so tan of 74 degrees is root 1 minus p squared over p. The fourth part of the question asks us to find sine of 148 degrees. Does this angle ring a bell from our earlier thinking process? Not to worry if it doesn't, because your first step is always to reduce to the ratio of an acute angle. So let's do that first. 148 degrees is a second quad angle, forming an angle of 32 degrees with the x-axis. And sine in the second quad is positive, so this reduces to positive sine 32. Are you happy now to see an acute angle of 32 degrees? Hopefully you're able to recognize this as 16's double angle. This is a part of the learning and seeing why it is so helpful to have options available to consider so that you can be active in figuring out what to do with the angles you're being asked about. Let's see what to do now that we've recognized this as a double angle. You may find it useful to rewrite it as sine of double 16 degrees. There is only one way to expand sine of a double angle, so the next line is this expansion. 2 times sine of 16 cos of 16. And now you can read each factor's ratio value off the sketch, or from the given information, or from previous part questions already completed. Having more than one way to reference for the same information is also a great way to check your work. How did you find these questions? We thought to extend this question to these two further ratios. Give them a try, pausing the video while you do so. Let's take a look first at cos of 76 degrees. Did you recognize how it fitted in? Let's go through the thinking. 76 is already an acute angle, so no need to reduce, which means we need to make sense of it in connection to the 16 degrees given in the question. The reason for this, by the way, is that we need to link 76 to P. So by process of elimination, 76 is not family of 16 degrees or of its complement, 74 degrees, although it is close. It is also not family of 16's double angle, 32 degrees, which leaves us with the option of looking for compound angle combos. This means looking at 16 degrees in combination with 30, 60 or 45, either being added or subtracted. You can then see that the special angle ratios are read off the special triangles, so much easier than the calculator, and the ratios of 16 are read off your sketch, or possibly previous part questions. You may want to pause again now to give sign of 209 another go if you feel the need before moving on. In this case, 209 does need to be reduced to a ratio of an acute angle, which here will be negative sine of 29 degrees. Again now, think through all your options for how 29 degrees fits into the picture of 16 degrees as your acute angle of focus. Unless you know what to actively look for, you can see how this connection can easily be hidden. Once you've identified the combo that works, apply the relevant compound angle expansion and replace the ratio values. Work accurately through this part using correct signs and brackets, making sure your algebra takes you through successfully to a correct answer. You don't want to get all the complex trig correct and then lose your way with your algebra, so make sure you're strong here too. Your confidence with these questions will definitely grow from doing some more practice examples, which you can find on pages 23 and 24 of our Grade 12 Maths 2-in-1 Study Guide. Thank you for spending time with us on this trig topic of sketches. 
We wish you all the best with increasing your comfort with these trig questions. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.